Hello my YouTube friends and welcome back to another PhD vlog. So if you're new here, my name is Jessica and I am a final year PhD student at the University of Aberdeen and my PhD is in the area of natural products chemistry but also kind of biology but also kind of marine science and also kind of microbiology and all sorts of things. So I got back from holiday two days ago, it, it is Thursday today and I have been struggling since I came back from my holiday. So yesterday I tried to ease myself back into working. I set up a nice little morning routine. I woke up at 6.30 with my boyfriend. I played some games to relax a little bit. I had a nice breakfast and edited my YouTube video. And this was all before nine o'clock. And then I tried to ease myself back into working by doing some emails and trying to write. And yeah, my head has been all over the place since I've come back. I don't know how else to explain it, except for I just feel incredibly anxious and overwhelmed by what I need to do in these next six months before I'm due to hand in my thesis. So just to give a little recap of like where I am in my PhD journey, I have six months to go. My hand in date is supposed to be by the end of February 2023. I do have some lab work still to do. It's not a lot by any means, like the majority of my lab work has been completed, but I'm trying to focus half of my time on writing and half of my time in the lab. But I haven't gotten very far with my writing and I think I've just been feeling quite overwhelmed about how much I actually need to write for a thesis. The maximum word count is 100,000 words and that is a lot of words. So I have started writing up bits and bobs here and there. I have analysed results. I haven't really, you know, like written the discussions or anything. But yeah, whenever I try to sit down and write, I just get overwhelmed because I feel like I don't know exact structure of how I want my thesis to be. And I feel like I'm writing stuff and I don't know if I'm writing things in the correct way. And honestly, my brain is just like, Ugh. of course, when you feel overwhelmed and when you feel anxious, it just makes you feel stressed. And in my case, it kind of paralyzes me and makes me not really be able to do anything. Also, my motivation levels are just so low at the moment because I know this is the final push, but I just feel like I don't have the energy in me to, you know, get to the end and to finish everything. I am so tired. It's been a long PhD journey and I've been speaking to a few of my friends on Instagram and other people have been saying that they have also been struggling or I've spoken to people who have finished their PhD and they said that this like final portion when you're writing everything up, finishing little bits in the lab is definitely the most difficult part of the whole PhD experience. So today I tried to take some action in order to get myself out of this slump and to try and de-stress and de-anxiety myself. <laughs> the way that I did this was by I sat down at my computer and I opened up one of my chapters that I've been writing and I decided, wait a second, I feel like I really need to get the exact structure of my thesis down on paper so I know exactly what I'm going to write about in each of my chapters, each of like the subsections of my chapters. So then I can start to properly, you know, tick sections off as I write them. So that's what I did. I spent my whole morning planning my thesis, but in depth. If you think about it this way, I basically wrote out the table of contents for my whole thesis. So I wrote out the title of each chapter, then I wrote out the subheadings in within each chapter and then the sub subheadings within each chapter. And now I actually feel a lot more clear headed actually about what I need to do. And I feel a lot more focused and my brain feels a little bit less busy and overwhelmed because everything is down in front of me. I can literally just go through it now, tick off section by section as I complete them. So this is like a tip that I would give you guys. I started off first of all a while ago giving my supervisor just like a general thesis plan which was only the chapter titles but I was feeling that that wasn't enough. I needed confirmation from him about the subsections that I'm going to put in the chapters, whether it makes sense, whether it's enough. And the way that I got inspiration for this was by looking at different thesis from 
past students that we've had in our lab. So we get access in our lab to all previous PhD thesis. Looking at them for inspiration was incredibly useful on how to structure my thesis because it's so difficult to know how to create a document that big and how to structure a document that big. So looking at other thesis for inspiration was super helpful and I'm just waiting now for my supervisor to reply about my um, about my plan because one of my chapters is like really long and I feel like I can split that chapter into you know different sections so I'm waiting to see what he says about that but now that I know what I'm going to put in my other chapters I can start to write them I'm so glad I took that time this morning I know some people say planning for a long time is just wasting your time but for me if it's going to help to get my thoughts out of my head put them down on paper and it completely removes them from my head then I will spend that time to do that because it is not time wasted in my eyes. I think I mentioned that I've been working from home for the last two days so I haven't been into the lab since I've returned from my holiday and I've been feeling slightly guilty about this also but I don't have experiments that I can do this week and just because I'm not in the lab doesn't mean that I'm not working. Okay yes I haven't been so productive because I've been stressed and it's kind of paralyzed me. I need to get out of this mindset especially now that I don't have so much lab work to do. I need to get out of the mindset that that by not going into the lab people are thinking oh Jessica's not working or Jessica's just taking time off because that's not the case I work so much better at home our office is open plan and it's difficult to concentrate to say the least or some people ask questions or you'll chat with colleagues you know you know how it goes in a lab and office uh, environment. I need to just get that whole guilt thing out of my head because again it's just extra thoughts to add to the already existing one million thoughts that I have going on in my head and I do not need any more extra thoughts right now. So for the rest of the day it's currently quarter to two and yes I haven't done any writing <laughs> but for the rest of the day I'm going to try and look at my plan that I have now and choose a section even if it's a small paragraph or a few paragraphs and just get them written so I can tick a few things off of my plan. Tomorrow I will be going into the lab because I need to collect a USB stick which has some data that I need to analyze. It's also results from the bioassay that I did before my holiday. Oops! So I need to send that data to my colleagues. So I need to go in tomorrow. I also need to collect my lab books and I have to have a meeting with my colleague and I need to go to group meeting at four o'clock. So tomorrow I will go into the lab. I might spend some time in the library, you know, writing since the lab is quite noisy. I know I've just rambled on for quite a while but I think it's really important to share when I'm feeling like this just to show the reality of doing a PhD. It's not all oh look I did this experiment or oh look I'm in the lab and I'm playing with all of these instruments. There are times where it can be incredibly mentally challenging and with my channel I just want to you know spread awareness of that and keep things as raw and as honest as possible because I've had people reach out to me on Instagram and share their experience because I posted that I'm not feeling great at the moment and just hearing that other people feel the same and it's not just me being lazy or me being you know sluggish and demotivated it has really helped having other people's experience to relate to so that's what I try to do with my channel I try to share my experience so hopefully if someone out there is also struggling a little bit um, then by me sharing my experience I can make you feel a little bit better as always like the comments box on my video is open if you want to share your experience or if you want to offer some advice to me that would be really useful also but yes I have used this today as a little bit of a rambling session I guess to get all of these thoughts out of my head but like I say if any of my tips manage to help just one of you guys then I am achieving what I have set out to do with my YouTube channel so I'll be very very pleased if you could let me know if this video has helped you in any way today. I will show you what I'm up to in the lab tomorrow again I'm not really going to be doing any lab work but yeah I'll take you with me and yeah let's chat tomorrow I need to get back into writing because if I spend too much time procrastinating now then that will be me for the rest of the day. Speak to you guys tomorrow. Hello my friends, I am back with another update. It is half past four. I can't remember what time it was the last time I spoke to you, but I think it was maybe two o'clock or something like that. But anyway, since then I have managed to write 1000 words. So my thought process is now I just need to do this less than 100 more times and then I have a thesis to make 100,000 words. 
but I am very happy and my thesis plan has worked really well because my aim was to try and finish one of the subsections of a section of a chapter and I ended up finishing two subsections of a section of a chapter and it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be because naturally I'm at the end of my PhD so I actually know what I'm talking about so it's not so difficult to write about stuff. These subsections were part of the introduction of one of my chapters and I'm not gonna lie the thousand words that I've written are not very good but I have tried a new approach which some people suggest uh, to do for writing which is to just get your ideas down on paper so you know form sentences and everything but it doesn't need to be perfect the first time just get it all down there and then you can go back and edit it and perfect it later on so that's the approach I have tried I got all of my ideas down it's nowhere near perfect like I said but I will go back and edit it uh, later on maybe once I've finished the whole of the introduction or maybe once I've finished the whole chapter. Probably makes more sense once I finish the whole of the introduction to then go back and polish it up. But yeah, I'm very pleased and I feel like I achieved something today, finally. Right, I will chat with you guys tomorrow. I am going to finish for today because I've reached a thousand words and I'm very pleased with that achievement. Speak to you tomorrow. Hello friends, happy Friday. I have parked the car, I'm going to walk to the university, I'm going to say hello to my colleagues and then I'm going to the library because we need to write 1000 words today. That is my plan. Uh, I have other stuff that I need to do as well, not just write the 1000 words, but in terms of my thesis, 1000 words will be written by the end of today. So I'm going to grab my stuff and let's go to the lab. <laughs> finished in the library, excuse the noise of the elevator, and I'm going to group meeting which is at four o'clock so we have 20 minutes to go to the lab and go to group meeting. I managed to write about 800 words today but I also like copied and pasted uh, parts of papers into another document just to make some notes on some stuff that I want to write. I wasn't feeling too creatively minded today when it came to writing so I thought I'll spend some time doing some research and a little bit of time doing writing and I also had to analyse some data so I got that finished and yeah I guess it's been a semi-productive day. I also figured out how to use a programme called RefWorks which is a reference management tool and and I am so glad I now know how to use it because it's going to make my life so much easier when it comes to organizing all of my references for the thesis. I will try to share at some point how to use the tool because I think it could be really useful for you guys if your institution has a license like what my university does. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!